open up the train module. We're going to click insert file. So our data is CSV data. We'll just take a quick peek at it to talk about it. So we've got our point code, uh, coordinates, and point number. So with this CSV data, if I hit uh, open, I'm presented with the import options. Um, default options are ASCII text, ASCII LIDAR, and Microsoft Excel. And I've gone through and I've created another IOP format that uh, makes so I don't have to set my import options every time. And that'll be covered in the uh, the second video. So here we are. We've got it assigned what's our X, Y, Z columns, point codes. We've told it that our point codes are uh, formatted as such. So if I have something that's called target, it's going to be a red uh, point with that symbol. If I have something called uh, BB, it's going to be a green break line with that symbol at its points. Um, over here, I'm going to select, set my projection. 053 and we'll hit OK. So our data is brought in. Uh, for the most part, things are set up. So our uh, spot shots are those little cross symbols. We've got our tree symbol applied to the trees. Everything's looking pretty good. The uh, Labels. So in here, I've set my screen layout. Um, so screen layout, and I've saved my normal so that my 3D view is over here, my plan view is over here, and I have uh, feature name and elevation labels uh, applied to all the features in my model. I'm content with that. Now, in this case, I can look around at a glance, and things seem to make sense. I'm going to turn off my labels just to avoid a bit of clutter here. So there we can see a little bit better of what's going on. Um, so that was a right click active window options and I've turned off labels. We can format our labels and we do talk about that in the uh, uh, the second video as well. And uh, I've got my sick Yale set at 1 to 500 which I'm happy with but if we wanted to change that we could. Um, we can uh, have this lock feature on. So right now if I zoom in and out the scale remains the same, but we're magnifying what we're working with, um, which I'm happy with if I turn that off as I zoom in and out using the wheelie on my mouse, uh, the scale would be adjusted.